Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how you can place a match inside a live text layer. Means you will be able to move your text, you will be even able to edit your text later after you place image inside. Alright, so let's get started. A new blank project in Photopy. We can zoom in a little bit. And now I'm going to search for an image for this project using the built-in gallery. It's full of free stock images, so we don't even need to go to any other website. We can use this built-in tab over here. So maybe nature will do. Here's a nice image. Just tap on it, click on it one time. It will load inside your project. You will need to set up the size of this new image and then confirm by clicking this OK checkbox at the top. And here's my image. All right, I'm going to close this tab with gallery and now I'm going to duplicate this layer with the image. So we have two images. I got a copy of it so I can use one for the text and one as a backdrop for the whole project. All right, so the one that's going to be a backdrop, I will blur this one. So filters, blur. Here you can put amount for this resolution 11 will do. So the image at the back is blur. I will reduce opacity slightly as well to distinguish this from the main image. So this is just a backdrop. And the other one is the main image we're going to put inside the text. All right, so we need a text layer. Here's the type tool. Click on the artboard and you can type anything you want. Of course, you can modify the size, color and font. In my case, it's already good. So I will stick with this one just using a move tool to transform it. Hold shift for locking the proportion of the image of the text. In this case, confirm. You must confirm every time you do transformation. All right. What next? Now is the most important part. You will need to put the image above the text layer first. So drag it above, right click and clipping mask. Ta-da, here it is. One more time. Drag it, image above the text layer. Right click on the image layer and select clipping mask. So now the text is clipping our image. So we can only see the image that is above this text thing. I can even move the text, as you can see. All right, so this is nice, non-destructive way of putting image inside the text layer because the text is still editable. In addition, we can put layer style on this text layer. Like, for example, some kind of shadow. I'm using the same image as the backdrop, so this will kind of help me to distinguish the main text from the backdrop image. Of course, you can use different image as backdrop. You can even use solid color or transparency. Inner glow will also help. Okay, that's enough. I can even play with the backdrop layer now by adding a color to it. So layer style, color overlay, 50% opacity so you can see through and now you can modify the back color as you please. Maybe let's make it darker so the text will pop out like this. Nice. So this is the way how you can place the image inside the live text layer in Photopea by using clipping mask from the layer panel. If you want to see more tutorials about Photopea, Affinity Designer and other graphic software, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. See you in the next one.